Praise the Lord. Amen. We thank God for this opportunity to be with you on this morning. Amen. God is good and he is greatly to be praised. Amen. As we prepare our hearts and our minds for morning worship, amen, we want to keep in prayer all the saints everywhere. Amen. Amen. We're going to all stand at this time. And the Bible admonishes us to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. Gracious God, we thank you right now. In the name of Jesus, we ask in you right now, God, to lift us up, God. Oh God, lift us where we are weak. Give us peace where there is sorrow. In the name of Jesus, we ask in you to heal us, Lord, where we are hurt. In the name of Jesus, lift our spirits, God. Draw us closer to you, Lord. Oh God, in this time, we need you, Lord. We need you right now, Lord. Oh God, it seems like the world has gone crazy, but we need you, Lord. Draw us closer to you, God. Anoint us, God. Save us, God. Oh God, we just come to you, Lord, thanking you that you woke us up on this morning and that you gave us the activities of our limbs and you kept us. You kept us in our right mind. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, we want to rebuke depression, God. In the name of Jesus. Rebuke depression, God. In the name of Jesus. Rebuke those spirits that speak into the mind, God. Rebuke those evil thoughts, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we give you the praise. We give you the glory. Draw us closer to you, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, right now, God, we just want to pray for those 18 people that lost their lives in the week. Oh, God, touch their families right now, God. In the name of Jesus, give them peace. Give them comfort. In the name of Jesus, let them know that you are the Lord of God. Oh, God right now God and over in Israel bless those who are hurt bless those who are homeless bless those who lost their loved ones bless those children God who lost their parents in the name of Jesus continue to watch over us God continue to watch over us God in the name of Jesus but look over living word God look over us God oh God help us Lord Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Oh, God, keep us next to your bosom. In the name of Jesus, touch our children, God. Continue to watch over our children, God, wherever they may be, God. Oh, God, save God. Save God. Save, Lord. Save, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you, God. We thank you, God. But save us, God. Save us, God. Save us, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, touch those that are in the hospital. Touch those that are behind prison walls. In the name of Jesus. Touch those that are on the street. Touch those that are homeless, God. In the name of Jesus, watch over them, God. Watch over them, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we're going to give you the praise. And, oh, God, we're asking you right now to send your word on today. Send your word on today. Send your healing word, God. Send your delivering word, God. Send your saving word, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Fill us up the more, God. Fill us up the more, God. Fill us up the more, God. Oh, God, fill us, Lord. Fill us, Lord. Fill us, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Touch each and every one that's here, God. 
touch them right now, God. Give them a special blessing. Give them a special anointing, God. Oh, God, in Jesus' name, God. Oh, God, but one more thing. We ask you to bless Elder Hyder, God. Bless him and his family, God. Continue to watch over them. Continue to bless them, Lord. Continue to anoint them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, God. We thank you for him, God. We thank you for them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, bless his family in Texas, God. In the name of Jesus, touch right now, God. Touch right now, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we're going to give you the praise. We're going to give you the glory. We're going to give you the honor in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. Amen. We thank God. Hallelujah. We thank God for who he is and what he has done. Amen. Our scripture reading is going to be found in Psalms 24 and 10. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. Salah, and the word of the Lord is blessed. Amen. 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 We thank God for you on today. Amen. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to turn over to the hands of Elder Riley for our ministry of music. We say amen for him at this time. Praise the Lord, church. Thank you, Lord. Real. Real, Jesus is real to me. Oh, yes, gave me the victory. So many people doubt him. I pray live without him. That is why I love him so. He's so real to me. Everybody says, Yeah. 
worship you. You are here, turning lives around. We worship you. We worship you. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the Pray now that you will touch these lips of clay. Teach me what to say, how to say, and when to say. Hide me behind the cross. Let no flesh glory in your sight. I will always give you the glory, the honor, and praise because it belongs to you. In Jesus' name, amen. If you love the Lord, would you help me give him a hand and clap of praise and tell the Lord I love you. Thank you, Jesus. Well, when I woke up this morning, I'm staying consistent, and I just kind of smiled at him and said, you did it again. Yeah, you did it again woke me up and I had the activities of my limbs. The old folk used to say I have a reasonable portion of my health and strength. I, I don't know if I completely understand the reasonable portion, but uh, I remember the saint saying that and it's yet with me today. We have so much that we need to pray for. This is a day. This is a time for the believers. I'm, I'm talking about, uh, well, I ain't playing now. <laughs> I'm talking about the believers to step up to the plate and do what we know to do. Yes, yes, yes. I have, um, I've made up my mind that it, this is no quitting time now. It's no quitting time. Um, the man was praying one morning and so the story is told and he said, Lord, I thank you. You're just so good. You're just so mindful and so merciful to me. I just want to thank you. You are my God. And then he said, and now I'm really going to need you to help me in a few minutes because I'm going to be getting out of this bed. 
and I'm gonna have to deal with these people. <laughs> so we can talk if we yet in bed. But what do you do when you're in the thick of the battle? What do you do when darts are coming from both sides? Will you stand and put your trust and confidence in the God of your salvation and trust him to be God? God is not a man that he should lie. So I make certain I don't get him mixed up in my man head. My God can do anything but fail. In the book of Luke and uh, Need your prayers this morning. Chapter 10, starting at verse 25. Uh, I might do something that I haven't done since I've been here. I might say, Can I get an amen? <laughs> Somewhere along the message, I might need an amen. So I might ask you for one today. Verse 25. I'm going to uh, talk for a few moments from the subject between Jericho and Jerusalem. I do understand that probably the correct way for the title to read is between Jerusalem and Jericho. But uh, for my convenience, I say between Jericho and Jerusalem because you are yet stuck between uh, the uh, uh, place. You're stuck. Um, if Javon is here, raise your hand. Okay, I thought I saw him walk in. I just wanted to be sure. So I, I got one amen if I have to go for it. Yeah. Between Jericho and Jerusalem. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Well, you know, he kind of started off asking the wrong question. He want to know what can I do? And it's not about what we can do. It's about what he has already done. He said unto him, what is written in the law? How read it thou? See, these guys knew the law. Uh, they probably had heard that it was a new rabbi in town. And so they had kind of gotten together to see if we can stump him. Let's, let's see if... if um, if he's really as bright as the people are saying that he is. And he, verse 27, he answering said, Thou shalt love the Lord thou God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind and thou neighbor as thyself. So he knew the law. 
He knew how to step back into Leviticus and say what was said. And he said unto him, Thou hast answered right. This do, and thou shalt live. But he wouldn't just let well enough alone. He had to mess with it some more. But he, willing to justify himself, said unto Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Trying to stump Jesus, trying to get him to answer something incorrectly. And Jesus answering said, a certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, which stripped him of his raiments and wounded him and departed, leaving him half dead. It sounds as though he might have been unconscious. The Bible says he was stripped, he was wounded, and left half dead. And by chance, there came down a certain priest that way. And when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. Have you ever been looking for help in a certain place from a certain person? But when you got wounded, stripped of all of your clothing, left half dead, they were nowhere to be found. And likewise, a Levite who was a church boy, when he was at that place, came and looked on him and passed by on the other side. Sometimes people may not help you, but they just want to look and see how helpless are you. I'm, I'm going to look, and then I'm going on the other side. I'm not going to help you a bit. Uh, but a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion on him, and went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine and set him on his own beast, and brought him to an inn, and took care of him. And on the morrow, when he departed, he took out two pence and gave them to the host, and said unto him, Take care of him. And whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee. Then in verse 36, the question is, is asked, which now of these three thinketh thou was neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves? And he said, he that showed mercy on him. Then said Jesus unto him, go and do thou likewise. It's interesting 
that when the question was asked, which of these three? Because the three had been named. The priest, the Levite, and the Samaritan. And he said, which of these three? But he wouldn't even call the Samaritan a Samaritan. He just said, he that showed mercy on him. Uh, that's the one. I am calling this, as it is, a parable. This passage is a parable, and it is suggested not to be used as an allegory. Of course, there was one North African called Augustine that said he thought it could be used as an allegory anyway, and said, this is how I see it. He said that Jerusalem represented heaven, that Jericho represented the world, the priest and the Levite represented the law and the prophets, the inn represented the church, the wounded man represented Christ. The oil and the wine represented baptism and the Lord's Supper. That's how he saw it. And I'm not going to uh, try to build on that because I'm not absolutely certain that he is correct, but it was an enjoyable read. The one thing that I do know is that uh, between is an intermediate, intermediate position. You are not at one spot or the other spot. You are in between. And so when you try to figure out who the neighbor is, it doesn't have to be anybody that's next door. It doesn't have to be anybody that's in the same neighborhood that you are in because a neighbor becomes a neighbor anywhere it's necessary. So this man was in between two places and the Samaritan became a neighbor. Jericho means the moon city. It's five miles west of the Jordan and seven miles north of the Dead Sea. It's 800 to 1300 feet below uh, sea level, it's an oasis and a tropical climate. And then when we take a look at Jerusalem, Jer Jerusalem is the royal city. It's the capital of the only kingdom God has among men. Jerusalem is where the temple was erected. It's the only place that sacrifices were legitimately made. Jerusalem was the city of the prophets. It's the place of the death, the resurrection, and the ascension of Jesus Christ. The place where the Holy Spirit descended at Pentecost, giving birth to the Christian church. Jerusalem is where the first great church council was held. But I don't want to just build on Jerusalem. I want to take a look at the Samaritan. 
because there's a point that I want to try to paint when I talk about the Samaritan so that we can see this picture clearer today than we've ever seen it before. And I realize that's saying a mouthful. But sometimes it's called uh, the good Samaritan. Now the Bible does not call him the good Samaritan. It calls him a certain Samaritan. There are over 30 states in the United States that have laws that govern good Samaritan. They are called good Samaritan laws. If you get involved with somebody and you are acting as what we call uh, a good Samaritan and somebody is injured, somebody is wounded, there uh, are leniencies that come to you because you were acting as a good Samaritan. When Robert Kennedy was shot in June 1968, he was carried to the Good Samaritan Hospital. And so many times the word is used good. It, it just shows that uh, a person is doing something good and they attached that to the Good Samaritan. So let's let's say um, this is the picture that I want to try to paint here that we'll never forget. Let's say that one of the proud boys are uh, an oath keeper or a white supremacist was the one that was beside the road. Now I need to uh, kind of uh, check my audience here now. Uh, anybody ever heard of the Proud Boys? You know what I'm talking about? Okay, because I don't want to paint this picture all by myself. Uh, um, the Oath Keepers? Uh-huh, uh-huh. White Supremacy? Uh-huh. Okay, let's say it was one of them that was lying beside the road. <laughs> yeah, you feel me, don't you? Yeah, she tracking with me. Yeah, let's say he was laying beside the road half dead. And then I come along wearing my T-shirt that says black lives matter two. <laughs> now I put two on it because I, I think that the phrase uh, could have been made a little better. It's not just black lives matter. Black lives matter too. Or black lives matter also because all human life matters. So here I come with my Black Lives Matter 2 t-shirt on, this proud boy is laying beside the road unconscious and half dead. And I come by, will I be <laughs> the priest, the Levite, or the Samaritan? Now, I know who he is because they've stripped him. And I see the tattoos on his body. I see the Confederate flag tattooed on him. And now I have a decision to make. Will I go by on the other side? Will I go by and take a look at him and then go on the other side? Or will I be the neighbor? 
question. Question. I'm trying to put it in today's sense. I'm, I can paint the picture from the, Je the road, Jerusalem to Jericho, but I want to go down I-75 now. Let me go down I-69 and get off on your street. The question is, what will you do? Now let me tell you something. The only reason the Samaritan was able to help the man that had been beaten was because he was unconscious. Because he was a Jew. And the Jews and the Samaritans had no dealings with each other. And so if he had been conscious, he would have said, don't touch me with your black hands. You do know that there have been doctors of color that had skill and could save some people's lives. But because he looked like you and me, they didn't want him to operate on their loved ones. I can remember my dad back in the day uh, went to a person's house to repair the kitchen sink faucet. And the woman had called the shop and she had no idea that uh, my dad was gonna be the one to come out and fix the faucet. And daddy was probably two shades darker than me. It wasn't no mistake. <laughs> you knew who daddy was. And so she stopped my dad and told him, you can't work on my faucet. And called the shop and said, send me out another plumber because this plumber is not going to work on my faucet. Daddy stood there while the other plumber came. And, you know, sometimes you got to understand, we've had some tough knocks. We've, we've been beat up. So my dad was standing there, and the, I'm going to call it like it is today, even if I have to run. I'm gonna go. So the white plumber came in. And he got ready to go to work on the faucet and forgot to shut the water off. <laughs> and he opened the, the top handle of that faucet. That water shot all up in her beautiful ceiling, all on her floor from that white hand. <laughs> And my daddy said he just stood there and looked. What well, would he go turn it off? And then, just like, you know, the good boy should have done, it's what well, Woody, I thought you had already turned the water off. <laughs> so we have problems sometimes, even when we are trying to do good. Between Jericho and Jerusalem, in this pyramid of life, we are much like the traveler. We get caught between Jericho and Jerusalem. And many times the uh, place we expect to get the help, it does not come. But we can become a neighbor ourselves 
if you, if you notice, I didn't put pressure on you to answer what you would do with the scenario that I gave. In fact, I, I need to get somebody to paint me a picture. Tell them this is my imagination and I want you to take it and put it on the canvas. Have a slow, uh, I'm getting off track. <laughs> Yo, let me say it anyway. I'd have a slope coming down from Jerusalem to Jericho. I'd have a proud boy laying over in the ditch. <laughs> I'd be standing there. I'd tell him, no, no, I'm, I'm going to be the pitcher there. Y'all snap me. And I'm going to be standing there with my Black Lives Matter. Okay, I'm, I'm getting carried away. Yeah, y'all tell I'm, I'm kind of having fun with this message. <laughs> Some things you have to learn to laugh at because actually they are painful. And, and many times we find ourselves caught between Jericho and Jerusalem and we need a neighbor to come to our rescue. And Walking around the text for just a moment. God, there is a traveler that's on this dangerous road. He was called foolish and irresponsible because you usually didn't travel this road by yourself because everybody knew it was a dangerous road. It was about 21 miles in distance, a wild and rugged road. The uh, thieves could hide uh, back in crevices and, and wait for those that they wanted to rob. It's also called the way of the blood, the way of the blood. This was a bloody road. This was a dangerous road. And travelers generally went with a caravan. The priests and the Levite, they were not bad. They were busy. Many of us are not bad. We're just busy. We've got now, when we are introduced, we kind of like to hear it uh, being said in our introduction uh, uh, that, oh, we thank God for Elder Hyder taking the time out of his busy schedule. <laughs> and we've gotten to the place where we like busy. I can't help you, I'm busy. Uh, I, I, I wish I could, but I'm busy. Well, well, why should I help? Don't they get a check? I'm busy. The Samaritan placed the man on his own beast. He had compassion on him. He put compassion above prejudice. He put compassion above opinion. He put compassion above his work. He put compassion above time, energy, and money. The Samaritan showed a sense of humanity. He went to him and reached out to him personally. He bound up his wounds and he poured oil and wine into his wounds and gave him a ride on his own donkey. He put him on his beast and took him to an inn and when he got ready to leave the next day he said here are two pence and anything that you spend above that 
I will take care of it when I come back. So many times we are caught. Um, we're caught between Jericho and Jerusalem. We are caught between earth and glory. We are caught between life and death. We are caught between the cradle and the grave. What shall I do when I'm caught? What shall I do when I need help and nobody seems to come to my rescue? What shall I do? Well, I don't know why my dad have been on my mind in this message. So, but as I close, I want to talk about the one song that I knew my daddy to sing. My daddy was not a soloist, but this one song he would sing. He said, like a ship that's tossed and driven, battered by an angry sea, when the storm of life is raging and the fury falls on me, that makes this, what, what must I do when, you know, these things happen? that makes this race so hard to run. I'll say to my soul, take courage. The Lord will make a way somehow. I try to do my best in this service. I, I try to be the best I can. When I choose to do the right thing, I, Evil is present on every hand. I, I look up and wonder why. I, good fortunes pass me by. I, but I say to my soul, take courage. I, the Lord will make a wound I, somehow. I, I know. Woo! Often there is misunderstanding out of all the good I do. I go to my friends for consolation and I find that they are complaining too. So, so, so many nights I tossed in pain wondering what the next day will bring. Uh, but I say to my soul, uh, take courage. Uh, I know the Lord uh, will make a way uh, somehow. Uh, yes, uh, the Lord will. The Lord uh, will make a way uh, somehow. Uh, when beneath uh, the cross I bow, uh, he will take away uh, each sorrow uh, if you give it to him. I've been caught between Jericho and Jerusalem. My good friends walked off and left me. The one I thought was my best friend got busy on me and don't have time to see about me. But the Lord will make a way somehow. The Lord will make a way somehow. And the last thing that I got to say about my daddy when 
I was going to church and didn't want to go to church. Going to church, cutting up at church. But somehow, in some way, I heard what my daddy would say. Preacher was preaching. I, I guess I must have been about 11 or 12 years old. Y'all don't know I'm so happy to be the age that I am today. Uh, I must have been about 11, 12 years old. And uh, the preacher was in a revival and he, he was just going at it. And, and he said, raise your hand. And I raised my hand. And uh, my mama had bought me a little shirt. It was, it was yellow and brown stripes. And the stripes went sideways like this. And the preacher was preaching. And, and he said, some of y'all haven't raised your hand yet. Said, but there's a little boy sitting back at the back of the church with that shirt on looking like a bummer bee. I ain't forgot it yet. I could call his name, but I ain't gonna do it. Said, looking like a bummer bee. And, and when I said, raise your hand, he raised his hand, grinning like a chitty cat. But the one thing I would remember, remember my daddy saying, and he had a certain look on his face when he would say it. He said, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. I need your help. I need your help. I, I've been caught. Uh, between Jericho uh, and Jerusalem uh, I've been beaten uh, I've been stripped uh, help me Lord uh, help me Lord uh, help uh, help me Lord uh, stop by here uh, if you don't stay long uh, stop by here uh, and help me now uh, I've been caught uh, between Jericho uh, and Jerusalem. Uh, I've been caught uh, in a tough spot. Uh, I've been caught. Uh, I'm by myself. Oh, help me. Uh, help me, Lord. Uh, help me. Mm. I was sinking deep in sin, far, far from the peaceful shore, very deeply stained within, sinking to rise no more, but the master of the sea heard my despairing cry. And from the waters, uh, he lifted me. Uh, I'm safe. Uh, I'm safe. Uh, I'm safe. Uh, safe am I. Yeah. As, as I go to my seat, uh, it was me. It was me uh, on the wayside. Uh, it was me uh, that had been beaten. Uh, it was me uh, that needed a neighbor. Uh, and when uh, nothing else could help, uh, I saw uh, the Galilean uh, coming along. Uh, I saw Jesus uh, taking the stripes. Uh, I saw Jesus. When nothing else could help, it was love that lived in me. I'm safe. 
I'm safe. I'm safe. Oh. to stay on the side of the road you don't have to stay in a victim's position you don't have to stay and just be beat up I see the Galilean coming down your street I see the Galilean coming down your street I see Jesus coming down your street I see the master coming down your street when you think you're left alone you think you're all by yourself you think you don't have any help you think I'm in this race by myself I have nobody that I can turn to here I come here I come down your street. Here I come. <laughs> wow. When I was a youngster, we used to play hide and go seek. And we said, ready or not, here I come. I, I feel the master. I, Coming down your street, I, I feel the master I, coming down my street. I feel the master. Woo! Here I come. Here I come. Been beat up. Been criticized been set aside feel like you can't go another mile but here I come down your street here I come Woo! <laughs> pick me up Pick me up. Nobody else may do it, but you know how to pick me up. Pick me up and turn me around and set my feet on solid ground. I, I, oh, oh Lord, oh, oh, what's the matter with you, preacher? Oh, oh, I think I can make it now. I, I think I can make it now. I think I can. Thank you. I can make it now. I, I, I can make it now. I, I can make it now. Sometimes you hit a rough spot. Feel like throwing up both hands. I don't want to go any further I'm tired I've been caught between Jericho and Jerusalem 
But all you need is a touch of the master's hand. Just one touch of the master's hand. And then you can say it is well. It is well. It is well with my soul when peace like a river attentive my way and sorrows like sea bill of rose whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say it is well it is well it is well with my soul The old preacher, the old preacher used to say, now don't you feel better? Mm. Well, I I've got a feeling, I've got a feeling, everything, everything is going to be all right. I got a feeling, I got a feeling, way down in my soul, I I've got a feeling. Well, eh, I've done everything that the Lord told me to do, except one thing. He told me earlier if you want to be delivered. For just a moment, you need to turn the sacred desk loose and step out on my word. So just let me do this and I can go to my seat because I'm not going home saying I wish I could or should have. I'm not going home saying I should have. I'm going to do whatever the Lord tells me to do. I'm going to say whatever he tells me to say. We're in some tough times. We got to hear God. We got to act on God. We got to do what God says. If God tells me to run, I need to take off. He didn't tell me to run, but I'm going to do a good walk. Yeah, I'm going to do a good walk. Sometimes I get embarrassed. Don't want to. I want to stay behind that podium so nobody really get a good look at me. Nobody really get a chance to see me good. But right now, it just makes no never mind. I got a walk of faith. I got a walk of faith. Every step is in Jesus' name. Every inch is in Jesus' name. I'm getting up. Woo! I walk a little better now. I don't know what tomorrow may bring. I gotta preach today. Some of y'all wondering what I'm doing. I just, I'm doing everything I can. 
to, I scare y'all if I do what I really want to do. <laughs> I, I'm both be getting up running out of here. <laughs> I really want to lay on the floor. Y'all yeah. just don't know. Y'all yeah. don't know. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah. See, I, I was the one. I, I was the one I, that was laying beside the road. I, but I heard Jesus. I, So you've been bruised, you've been battered, you've been scorned, but I'm here now. Jesus says, I'm here now. I'm here now. I'm here now. I'm here now. Wow. Right, yes, sir. I'm she said she great. If y'all know the news she got before service started, you wouldn't think that she could say she's great, but the Lord has picked her up. What a friend. Somebody ought to praise him with her. Don't let her praise by herself. Somebody praise the Lord with her. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Son of David, uh, the meek and I'm the lamb, uh, the stone hewed out on the mountain, Jesus, uh, oh Jesus. Breakthrough. 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 Woo! I've been waiting. I've been waiting. I've been waiting on a blessing. I've been waiting on a blessing. I've been waiting on a blessing. My breakthrough. My breakthrough. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus.
that have not accepted him as your Lord and Savior. This is your moment. Keep praising him, dear. This is your hour. Don't let it pass you by. Yesterday is bankrupt. Tomorrow is no more than a promissory note. The only real cash that you have is this very moment this very hour don't let it pass you by the day you hear my voice harden not your heart save us Lord to the utmost save us to the utmost Jesus saves to the utmost Jesus saves. He'll pick you up, turn you around, place your foot on solid ground. Jesus saves. Jesus saves. Jesus saves. You are the great consolator. Now, Lord, we thank you for the people of the Lord. Thank you for the visitation 
of your spirit. Take us to our several homes. Bring us back to this place without the loss of one. May the grace of God, the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, rest, abide with us now and forever. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Shalom and peace of God be with you. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace.